Michael says, my wife is resentful that I've gotten involved in network marketing again after having failed numerous other times and spent a ton of money doing it. Um, I had even promised her ooh, that I would never get involved again and meant it. But things took a turn and here we are again. Sounds to me, Michael, like you did not negotiate with your, your wife uh, when you found this new opportunity. You didn't sit down with her. You just signed up um, and told her, you know, I, hey, I know I, I know I said never, but um, I could have told you never to make that promise because once you're in network marketing, you're going to be in again. Um, it's just part of it. But give some advice on what you would, uh, now that this has happened, what advice do you have for Michael to be able to patch up this issue? And then I'll give you my opinion. Uh, again, just have a conversation. And like um, like I said before, uh, give your spouse st uh, your uh, story that why it's important to you, why you made a decision to get back. Be before, before the conversation, can I back up to one thing? Sure. That I think you need to have before the conversation? Apologize. Apologize. <laughs> you need to say sorry. You need to say sorry for making a decision that affected the entire family without consulting your number one business partner, your spouse. You need to just go say, I screwed up. If she's, if she's hugely resentful, you, you guys did not come to a meeting of the minds. And you have to be successful at at least educating your spouse to the point that they support you. Um, even if it's grudging support, but they're not going to be mad at you and resentful. You don't want to have resentment in the house. The business is not worth that. So, But yeah, like you said, Eric, first of all, of course, the apology needs to be made there. Uh, and again, it goes back to disrespect because she felt disrespected that you didn't talk to her about it and you made a decision and kind of like left her away uh, outside of that whole uh, decision making process. So that needs to happen first. But then you have to have a conversation with her and explain why, what made you make this decision, why you want to do it. But it's, it, uh, as, as I'm reading your comments, is like you also mentioned that you failed numerous times. So that goes back to Go uh, she is not supportive because she saw you crawling all this time and not going all in. And she not views making... you as that sucker that just keeps, you know, buying the stuff on the infomercial that's going to change your life. At some point, you got to turn it into reality, Michael. You've got to go out there and get past your fears and get past your doubts and make something happen. Right. Um, uh, but my advice is, is uh, eat some crow, have some humility, sit down and apologize, find out how she really feels, ask her how she feels about this, and listen, not to try and convince her, but to try to understand where she's coming from. Because if she's like most wives, she wants the best for you. She's trying to protect you. She's trying to protect the family. She's trying to keep you from making boneheaded decisions. Um, and just fa uh, it's painful for her to watch yeah. that, you know, you're just trying and trying again and you're uh, bringing your hopes high and then it's not working. So she doesn't want you to see uh, fail or be disappointed. So she's taking it very close to her heart. But if you show her some wins, uh, she will be very supportive. So, but again, you need to go out of your comfort zone. You need to learn the skills necessary and uh, actually produce some results. Now, I'm going to tell a private story. All right. Um, so, so Marina, she thinks she needs to lose weight, which she doesn't at all. Look at her. That's private. It's ridiculous. But she buys everything. Everything. Magical electric oh. suits. Uh, special <laughs> devices. Um all, you know, you can't imagine the stuff. All these exotic things, because it might work. You don't whatever, know. Whatever it might works, work. man. Uh, and let me tell you something. <laughs> if we didn't have, if we weren't wealthy, it would be an issue. I'd be like, come on, how many things are you going to buy? How many times are you going to buy their story? It's just a story. This one comes from the placenta of a unicorn. 
This one comes, you know, this, this one, you get it, put the suit on, literally the suit. The suit is an electrical suit. You put all electrical suit and it like shocks you while you work out and it, it gives you like- It does not shock you. What does it do then? Just uh, makes your <laughs> muscles work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See, this is non supportive spot. <laughs> no, I'm supportive. I didn't say nothing. I'm like, okay, hey. Yeah, you know? it didn't say nothing to me. It just said it to the world. <laughs> that's that's no big deal. No, but my, my here's my point. My point is with that, if 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 this was a, a life or death situation with the family, I would resent that. But since it's not, I don't care. I don't care. Do what you want to do. Uh, buy whatever you want to buy. You know, uh, uh, follow whatever you want to follow. I love you exactly as you are. If you decide you want to do something different uh, that that make you happy, that's cool. But it's just it, it's an example of what a spouse would do. That you know, you, you might not be independently wealthy, uh, Michael, um, and your wife is resentful because you're putting this energy towards things that she did not see results in. And it's just another one of those things that's piling up that didn't necessarily get results. So, And maybe that, uh, like you said, it might create some financial troublesome as well because she doesn't view that as actual work or money producing activity. And she might feel that, you know, all the financial burden now is on her shoulders because yeah. you are not producing those results. So it, it's you, you need to kind of like examine what is the issue. But more likely, if you produce the results, if you... Sh if you have something to show for, uh, I'm pretty positive that she will be much more uh, embracing you in this journey.